okay, I'm in the middle of giving a Virgo a psychic reading over the phone, I've never met them, and, um, okay, 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 are you still there? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you have dark blue eyes and brown hair and a mustache, and you wear, you're wearing a red flannel shirt. Yes. That's all true? Okay. And, okay, do you wear a white cowboy hat? Uh, no. Okay, that's what I thought that was going to be in the psychic reading before I said, I'm going to record you, and I got all ready, which I'm still not ready for. <laughs> okay, well, that sucks. That's, okay, so you're, like, super tall, like, you're, like, seven feet tall or something. Is that true or false? Uh, actually, uh, that is true. Oh, really? Wow. No. Okay. And you have, like, a really skinny-shaped face, though? And you have a beer belly-looking thing? Is that true or false? That's true. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and... Not a big belly, but a poochie belly. A what? A poochie belly, not a big belly. Yeah, you? like a little poochie belly. I don't know what to call it. I'm just in a hurry. Well, that's cool. And sorry, whatever. I'm sure. Okay. But you have, like, you have dark blue eyes, right? Like... Sometimes, uh, they, a glary looking, like, you'll see a glare of it one shade, and the other glare is like a darker shade. It's like a deep, royal, dark blue. Is that true? Yeah. You know what I mean? Cool, so I see you. And your hair's brown. I already said that, right? Okay. Yeah. Cool. Okay, um... Do what? But I'd like to know, uh, am I going to meet anybody soon? Okay, well, that's, if I see that, I'll tell you. So, I can't control what I see. I just say what I see until I see more, and then if there's spirits around, then we can try to ask questions telepathically, and they might answer us, or they have a message, and they're going to say their message without any questions or interruptions. I just have to listen to them, and then I will relay the message to you for, you know what I mean? Okay. That's how that happens. Yep. Okay, I understand. And some, you see, I can't control nothing, but sometimes you can really have a conversation with the spirits and, and stuff. And you can get answers, all that you want. You just have to stay put, get deeper and deeper into this reading. I have to get tuned in, tuned in. It's like the ocean. I'm in the water. I'm in the water. Oh, I'm out of the water. Oh, freak. Now I have to get back in the water, and, and i got to find my way back to you. This is the world. This is how angels look. From here, I'm on the phone. I'm in a whole different state from you, probably. You're in North Carolina? Is that what you said? That's what I said. Okay, and I'm in Arkansas, so that's, like, completely far away. And, um, and I just saw you, see, with my eyes, with my psychic eyes. That makes sense? Makes sense. And, yeah, I can, okay, let me see. Um, um, uh, are you staying with somebody or not? Are you staying with, are you, do you have your own place or do you have to stay in motels and stuff? Or what? I have my own place. I don't know. Is it like a duplex or is it just small? No. Are you in your bathroom? <laughs> uh, I'm in my bedroom. Okay. Does your... Okay. Is it like a small place? Like a small little apartment? Or a whole entire home? I can't tell. It's a whole entire home. Okay. Well, I don't see that. I just see something about a motel or a hotel. Have you ever been to any of them, like, lately? Or plan on going to? Or... You don't know. I'm losing it. Oh. Okay, well, what does your bathroom look like? Does it have, like, just a white sink and it doesn't have any cabinets underneath it? You know what I'm saying? You can see the sink's pole, the plumbing to it. Is that true or false? That's true, yeah. It is? Okay, well, I don't know why I was seeing that, but I was seeing that. <laughs> like, you know how some sinks have cabinets covering up the little pipe, you know? But this one doesn't in your bathroom. So that's cool, and I see you shaving and stuff, and you're letting hair go all over the floor and anywhere it wants to land. Is that how you shave? Even you're, you're a Virgo? <laughs> yeah, that's how I shave. 
That's how you shave? That's what I see you doing. That's so cool. And you and you tuck your uh, red shirt, red flannel shirt in, right? Yes, I do. Okay. Another person who tucks their shirt in. That's so cool. Okay, let's see. So that's why I've seen you, and that's why I'm seeing you. Like, so just an event that's in your aura that decides to project out, and I can catch it, you know? I can see, then go deeper and deeper and channel wherever inside your aura. It's like I'm stepping in your spirit, and then I see things that is there. It's not my fault. You put them there, you know what I mean? You make the movie. This is your movie, not mine. <laughs> you live it, no one else does. But spirits can follow you around and sing you signals, or the people who are like me to finally get a hold of and that's the funnest part about this this is do you have a little brother uh do i have a little brother mm -hmm. uh no uh, i'm the youngest one. Oh, so you're the littlest brother okay yeah. well well i was fucked up on that one i was right about the beginning and i just went through six minutes recording you freak me i'm going to do your birth chart okay okay I'm going to do your birth chart. Okay. What month were you born? September? I was born to August. August. Yeah, you remind me of Leo. What day were you born? The 9th? Uh, 26th. 26th. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Okay. What year were you born? 72? 19? Is that true? Okay, cool. I was just guessing. What exact time were you born? Do you know or not? Uh, I was born about 2 in the morning. We'll do an estimate, which you don't really know for sure. 2 in the morning, a.m. Just to see what your rising sign is, but it could drastically change your whole chart. Even your moon sign can change. But uh, first, we're just going to do it without the estimate. But it would be nice to know. And you were born in North Carolina or not? Uh, no. Okay. Where were you born? I was born in Ohio. Okay. 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 Okay, I found out. Okay, I'm going to try to make you guess your moon sign, even though you might not know about astrology or whatever. But hey, guess what? Your Mercury's in Leo. You communicate and think like a Leo. I so thought you were so Leo vibing, but I was like Virgo. And every time I think about Virgo, September is the most strongest trait of Virgos. But whatever. Anyways, okay, your moon sign is your inner being. It's your mind and it's your emotions, okay? So you... You might, you want to guess your moon sign because it's cool. So, because you might guess it. Okay. So, there's 12 signs of the zodiac. So, it could be any of them, your moon sign, not your sun sign. Do you understand that? So, try to guess. Aries, Taurus. I can name them all off and you just say that one, which, whichever one you think it is. Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces. Which one do you think it is? <laughs> Let me rename them. Uh, uh, Virgo. It's not. Your sun sign's Virgo, but your moon sign is not. Okay. It could be any of the signs. Uh, let's see. It's how you I feel see. inside. What did you say? You said what? Pisces. Pisces, that is it. Your moon sign is Pisces. You were correct. That was your... Basically, first guess. It's your second guess. You guessed Virgo. But it is your polarity. That means you're staring at each other in the middle of nowhere in our space. And you do different things to expect the same results, basically. But it's really weird. Like, Virgos are real practical and they're around the earth. Pisces are out psychedelic and out of their mind. Crazy spiritual worldness. One of your moons in Pisces, you really do believe in that true love, that pair. Oh, and you're always fantasizing it but your whole freaking retarded life. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's really how you're probably, you've been trying to get it connected with, but whatever, you know. Okay, your Venus. It's a really good Venus. Your Venus is in Cancer. This is how you show beauty. This is how you are beautiful. This is how you 
are in a relationship. These are the qualities that you're looking for in a relationship. So you're going to look for caring, mothering, nourishing type cancer-like people. And your mom probably uh, treated you like a stray animal or something because your moon is in Pisces. So you're kind of like to babysitter, to babysitter, to babysitter, or house to house and let uh, strangers take care of you. Did you kind of feel like that or not? <laughs> Okay, did what, did she treat you like a stray animal and she just remade you over all the time, over and over? I was just wondering how the moon in Pisces kid uh, uh, is treated. I mean, it could be go various ways, good and bad ways. I mean, ups and downs. Okay, cool. What, do you think she was psychic? Was she into anything? I don't know. I never did, uh, never did notice that. Was she kind of like a hippie, a flower child, or what? A wild child. That's my younger years. Was she the, she was the flower child or just you? <laughs> I guess you're the moon of Pisces. Huh? Oh. Do you ever feel like an actress or an actor? I mean, an actor. Do you feel like you would be in acting and stuff? I felt like it, yeah. Just for fun? Yeah. Wow. Your Mercury is in Leo, so you might attract a room with your conversations <laughs> by talking. Okay, your Mars is how your sexual expression is, and it's in Virgo. So you might not be that sexual. But, um, you know, you're very critical on sex, maybe, and practical on sex. I mean, you're not that sexual. Like, some people are, like, repulsively sexual. And uh, um, seeing as your Venus is in Cancer, you're just going to be mothering, nursing, and spoiling your partner and really emotional, provoking person and stuff like that. Does that, like, seem like you or not? Because I could just talk out of my ass, just rant. And Mars is in Virgo. That means you're very critical and you can be very mean. <laughs> Sometimes you're mean, and some, you did, people don't know whether you're being really, really sweet, or you're just a big fucking asshole. Like, do you throw things around when you get mad, and then you, you tell the people to clean it up or whatever? Because that's how I've noticed with them, and they're just really, really mean. Like, I think Mars and Virgo is the most meanest people I've ever seen, which is good, because I love to study them. I love to listen to how critical they are, the things that they come up with. And they're always mean to me. They always, like, basically hate me. I only know, like, a few that don't. <laughs> and they still, still have shown me some really meanness. But it's whatever, it's okay. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Okay. But in a relationship, now, you're going to be cancer, so you're going to kind of be slow and not... Do what? What person I be with, would it be a woman or a man? I don't know. I don't know. It's your true decision and the per other person's mutual decision. Your Saturn's in Gemini. That's where you're going to have um, messed up communication. Like, you're going to be... A, um, like challenged mentally like your mind and saturn and gemini is your responsibility to think for yourself to communicate to you know but you might have problems with communication with your words i don't know do you have any like problems with that or not <laughs> you know if, I do. Yes, I do. like your mind and how you think and your hand eye coordination what about your, with your hands do you have any problems with your hands just wondering. Well, what kind of problems do you have with your hands? Uh, they're uh, the round palms. They're what? Uh, they're round. They're round. Just the way they look, or the way you can't they handle things. You have a disability with your hands. <laughs> no, not really. They're okay. Good. Okay, well, I was just saying, what about your lungs? Because Saturn rules the lungs, the hands, the shoulders, the arms, and your words, the communication. I was just wondering, because that's just elemental and just whatever. Okay. Something that you're being disciplined, life lessons, karma, whatever. Saturn's Gemini is yours as in. Okay. Let's go back for a minute, okay? What? You asked me, did I have a problem with that? You asked me, did I have a problem with my lungs, didn't you? Your lungs, yeah. I do, I have a problem. Am I going to die from that? Oh, uh, I don't know. I'll get to the psychorene after I do the psychorene, uh, after I do the uh, astrology uh, map real quick, because it's, it's almost over. So don't worry about the map. I'm going to get back to it. I don't know, but I can sense bodies and see if there is a problem. But I don't know. I'm in tune with this physical world right now. It's ridiculous in your physical body. Whatever. I could do that in a minute. Hold on, okay? <laughs> I'm just going to read your chart out real quick and record it, and then 
get back to get in tune with you and see if I can see anything. Because, I don't know, that's so sweet. And sad. I don't know, I don't know. And hopefully spirits will tell us, because I, I mean, I have, spirits, spirits do tell me when they're going to die. People that are living, their spirit has told me too. It's an estimate, and I don't say that for sure. I'm just saying, be wary. This is something. And sometimes people's auras get so big and inflamed, and they're, that mean, and that means sometimes they're, they're preparing to die. And I've seen that so many times with people, like, and I've heard somebody's spirit tell me, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Dash, I'm going to die. Dash, I'm going to die. And I'm like, I told my dad, I was like, Dad, either my cousin's, or your cousin's going to die, or I'm going to die, so... Anyways, your Lilith is a Scorpio, you're going to be proud of Scorpio and your occult knowledge, deep, being deep, passion, desire, blah, blah, blah. Your North Nod is your life purpose, which is in Capricorn. Your your career is like your uh, and purpose in like being uh, more physically grounded, I don't know, being more Capricorn-like, being more, um, get things done is your purpose to be like a Capricorn, to learn people from Capricorn, be good at school bullcrap or some shit. You probably wasn't, you lack Capricorn stuff, you probably lack a Earth in your chart, and you also lack fire in your chart, and you do not like fire and Mercury and Leo, so that's weird, because Neptune is in Sagittarius, and that's something you might lack, and your North Nod is what you lack, which is Earth, Capricorn, whatever, just saying, characteristics of Capricorn, you, you know, you're supposed to build characteristics of Capricorn all through your whole life, and every time you are noticing that you're in a Capricorn state of mind or personality, or learn something Capricorn-like, that's when you know you're building your person. You're in your purpose at each little piece at a time. I'm just saying. So, you'll be taught a lot around Capricorns whether you like them or not. <laughs> okay, here's how you heal yourself. You have to be straightforward, fast, Aries-like, athletic. You, the way you heal others is by being a Virgo, but just by being yourself. You heal others by being analytical, the mother hen, the harvesting person being practical, being grounded, whatever, I don't know, being communicative, <laughs> there's a lot of Virgo traits, but I'm just throwing that in there really, really fast, blah, blah, the people that you're going to meet is going to be charming and be Libra-like, your Juno is in Libra, that's going to be your marriage partner, but yeah, so that's my Juno too in Libra, so a lot of people have Juno in Libra, a lot of people have Juno in a lot of signs, but you'll be meeting people, relational, like, Libra scenery. It's like at weddings, you might even meet somebody at a wedding, you might meet somebody. Uh, okay, your Vista's in Gemini. Okay, I was just, your, pla plaz your plaza is in Virgo. I'm trying to hurry up this up because this upload so takes so long. Everything that you decorate your house with is like Virgo like, so I bet it's like really perfect and crap or, or whatever. Do you build houses and shit like that? Do you build onto your house or what? Uh, not exactly. Are you a carpenter? Or have you did stuff like that? Oh. You haven't done anything like that? I've done stuff like that. You have? Yes, I have. I've okay. done some work. Okay. Well, I was just seeing that really quick, I, I think. And I'm still going back to your second reading, kind of. It's a blur. Okay, okay. I'm just going to get off this real quick and then come back to you. Okay, back to your chart and the estimate that you were born like 2 a.m. somewhere. So, um, to go to this, go to freebirdcharts.com or any calculator would do and look it up on YouTube. Do you have internet? Uh, I like to do. I'll have to check it out. Okay, yeah, because you can, you can go on some dating meat sites too, I'll tell you about after this. Okay, whenever I'm done with this. Okay, your cancer rising, you might be. That's your pressure action. Other people, that's how people are, uh, receive you right away, and that's how you are in your Venus anyways, but it, your sun signs in your third house is the way you communicate, blah, 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 your moon signs in your midheaven and Pisces, you have midheaven and Pisces, so the way that everyone's going to know you and remember you by is Pisces, the most spiritual sign of all, the psychic sign of all, the creative sign of all, the unconditional love sign of all, the chameleon of them all, the one who can mimic anybody's energy, blah, 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 okay, so everyone's going to see how you feel, because your moon is Pisces too, so they all match up, kind of. Your Venus is also in Pisces, so you want to put all your relationships in your career. Yay, just like me, I want to put everybody in my, my YouTube, or Midheaven, whatever the fuck, however I advertise myself. My relationships belong somewhere 
in the memory. Whatever, okay, your Mars is in the third house too. Wow. Okay, well, your death house, we were talking about your lungs, okay. Your eighth house is in Capricorn. You might live a long life, they usually do, so, but you might not be happy, but you will live a long life, because <laughs> if your eighth house was a Taurus, you'll live a happy long life. <laughs> That's what it says on this website, so. Whatever. But, you know, there's a, I mean, if you have Jupiter in the house, it may be, be lucky in death and you'd be, uh, you'd be a psychic medium. Hello, like me, totally. Uh, uh. Okay, real quick, your Saturn's in the 12th house. Wow. 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 So you're going to have spiritual things fly you everywhere, but you'll be, it's your responsibility to react like a Gemini and, a, oh, it's 12th house source. Wow. So that's, a challenge that, but you have your own house, so you have your own property and everything. Hold on, I gotta beep, okay? Hold on, I gotta go. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Um, Mega Beta Zeta, hello. Uh, I will be. You will be. Have you ever seen spirits and stuff? I've asked her to ask you before or something, you said yes, and then you had to go. Remember? So you have seen spirits and stuff? Me too. Yay. Let's talk about that and try to see if we can contact stuff because uh, all I got to do is walk into your spirit and see if I can pick up on anything and then maybe we can get that on camera and become famous and like have everyone know about our, how we communicate and then teach everybody else how to do it and be like trusted with all that crap. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It should be noticed and should be take credit for it. It's not just some memory even though that's what this life is. It's just a memory bank with people. What we do. Yeah. <laughs> God. Okay. On camera. Okay. Okay. Does she have blue eyes and red hair? Yes or no? Not brown. She doesn't have not red hair. Oh. Well, what color is her hair? Brown hair. She has what? Brown hair. Brownish red hair? Brown hair. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll see when we get there. <laughs> okay. That's all I wanted to do. <laughs> I'm gonna record that too. I'm paranormal, bitch. <laughs> I said it better like before, but I want to be a geek now. Okay, your sun and Aries, moon and Sagittarius. Like, I've already told y'all that. I don't want to go back. Fucking repeat that shit. Let's find something. <laughs> okay, well, I will if I have to later. I was on Mars and Libra, and we were going to get personal. Fuck you. <laughs> Nobody's allowed to know. Okay, yeah, like, we were in your life purpose on cancer. That was a wonderful story that I told you. Oh. <laughs> I can't tell it. I'm the only one that has to, right? Fuck you. What'd you say? Yeah. <laughs> Are you sure I'm the only one that has to remember this? All my lines. Yeah. I've already said them. I don't have nothing practiced. Everything right. was natural. <laughs> You're in your head. I can't even see him. That's right. I'm black. You okay. can't even see me. Bullshit. <laughs> you you gotta say it. Yes, I can find a way to see you. <laughs> Right. Uh, okay, you're an Aquarius. Everyone has to know that. But we're gonna get to know your chart next. But this is all about her. She's the first because she's the Aries. Okay, okay. So our moon signs and Sagittarius. It means what did I say about that? And it was right, right? <laughs> okay. Well, I can get good advice about that shit if you wanna last me. I'll just let you know when I see you or something and yourself. Man, there's so much to say about these charts, isn't there? But I wanna do psychic readings. <laughs> I did a sagarine on your friend. Okay, well, we got that memorized. That can be well balanced. Whatever. You won't have any balance in your life. You know, Saturn and Libra can fuck with your balance. And that means, like, you're also, like, you know how you want to close one eye and, and uh, close the other just to make it for balance? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I want to capture your reaction because I need witnesses and this is the only way. Because <laughs> no one can see ghosts like I can and no camera is going to, this one, is it going to really show up what I can see? It might for people because I know I can read um, paintings and shit. I'm really psychedelic. So I'm kind of Pisces and this is my credit. Can I see my bill? I don't know if I can make that happen. I will try to see where your view is, like you were being filmed. But I'm really the person the that's on, talking brother? and filming. What don't turn on? the light on. No. No, no, no. I like the light. I like to be in the dark. Oh, okay. So much better. Like, duh. <laughs> okay, well, beautiful and gorgeous.
So again, I have stories and you can hear them. Do I sound unbelievable? <laughs> really? That's so spiritual. I felt like that did do around you. You sure are so beautiful though, because you are a Libra, Saturn. So you have no problem there. That rules. I don't know. And we can't see you yet. Because it's <laughs> pointing at that. I can't carry two things at once. I'll try to be the director and the film filmer. Yes, casting spells on everyone. Okay, watch. We're going to read this chart. Is it okay to show this? Yeah, it is. Okay. We've got a chart that I have to multitask with. Okay. Sears. I know, right? I just got 43 seconds in. This crap is not cool. That what do you Yes, this is me. Take a 300. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm reading an Aquarius and he's... Did you got my cigarette? Fucking big old baby. You took my cigarette off the table, go. didn't you? No, you already said your baby. I'm going to pour it in you. Yeah. No. Don't smoke that way. Yeah. I know. I got to go down here. Yeah, yeah don't smoke that cigarette. Can you just lie here? No, Okay. Okay. Well... Okay, I'm a big of a dork and I'm gonna record this. Mm -hmm. I gotta get some water. No, I'm gonna get some water. And I'm just gonna take all that time to get my water. And I'm trading places with the wind. With the wind, I'm trading places with the moon. I don't know what the moon today is in. I think it is just left Scorpio, or it is in Scorpio, and it wasn't Libra. The first full moon eclipse. Finally found my water. Okay. I'm about to do astrology reading. Let me get back to that. Hmm. I think very highly crazy of myself for thinking that stupid shit. But I really can talk to spirits through walls and your animals and tell me a true story. And it's y'all's story. You made it up. You know, it's you are the foundation of that story. It wouldn't be anything other than without the effort with you. <laughs> Sounds nice, huh? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> well, anyways, you're a moon in Cancer. Where's your phone? Where's that astrology chart at? Do I not? It's over here. It's on the it's on the table. How do you turn that on? Will you do that for me? And well, it's your turn. I can't see you. No, no, no light. <laughs> Just words. Okay. Uh, how y'all turn your phone on? You have to tap it. Okay. Tap it on the front. I will click this off go. until I get it. Sideways. There you go. Okay. Whoa. Let's get it going on now. Let's finally reveal the true you in the way of the no, scope of the map. Your moon is in Cancer. You are going to be mothered and nourished by uh, your mother and shit. You know what I mean? I'm not even reading this. Cause this is your chart. You would have to look at it. This is a picture of you when you're a baby and now. But like your 12 houses are not there. So, okay. Your Mercury is, I'll just read it because it's not focused. Your Mercury is in uh, how you think. So we were guessing, right? Mm -hmm. Like, what is your moon would be? I mean, Mer Mercury. God. Would it be Mercury in Pisces? Or would it be Mercury in Aquarius? Or would it be Mercury in um, Capricorn? What would you think that your Mercury is in? Capricorn, Aquarius, or Pisces? I would like you to guess. I like you to guess first, because you're an Aquarius. You'll be very proud of that. What are you going to be proud of on here? Your Lilith is says Sagittarius, just like hers. Good for y'all. Y'all could be travel buddies. Whatever, right? You know, you over there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was always uh, picturing you, because I pictured you first. And you're the first chick I got to talk to. And you opened up more to them than they would. And I thought an Aries would do something like that. That's okay. <laughs> but like you, you know, you took the lead. That's cool. <laughs> Anyways. Took the lead in a lot of things. Yeah. Yeah. Who's I like to multitask. I know, right? It's not doing it. But you're groovy at computers because your moon sign is in Sagittarius. And they're good at computers. I am not good at anything like that. But moon is in Aquarius. Anyways. Okay, so do you think that that was true? You have a good mother relationship? We don't know what your fourth house is, though, because we don't know exactly what time you're born. We could put an estimate in there and maybe find out and tell you a story about it and see if you can 
comply to fucking existing as accepting it and knowing that it could be true yeah, or, or something about it was um, explain true <laughs> whatever you know you got an episode of the truth of how astrology is us and um, the planets and it is so insane <laughs> right <laughs> we're wired for our experience in each and every individual imaginal dream Good uh, case of information express. Okay, here we go. Uh, so your Mercury's in Pisces. Got to look great. That means you might be psychically talkative and shit. Do you see spirits, nigga? Please, come on. Do you see spirits? Yeah. Okay. So Venus and Aquarius means anything goes in relationships. So you're you want to be physically stimulated. You want mental stimulation. You look for qualities in others that are like mentally tolerant and disciplined and shit like that like that's also your Saturn so you might thinking wait here Venus beauty in the relationships so anything goes <laughs> okay your Mar your Mars is in Car Capricorn though there you go that's where their Capricorn is you're so grounded and uh, about your career you're really good at it right do you like you know if sex is your Mars it's Capricorn so Shit. you should look into some astrologers on YouTube about that. Do you have YouTube? Yeah. Okay. Well, you know who I actually just suggest is uh, Opinion Astrology. She's got the best Mars um, series out there. Like I've never heard anybody who says like the best shit that she has. <laughs> that sort of informative. So do you have any cravings for Gemini stuff? Yep. Yep. Your Saturn's in Gemini. There you go. And you know for a fact. Uh, Penny Astrology actually has like a mid-heaven Gemini, so she'll show you what a mid, what a Gemini is all about, <laughs> and that's amazing. <laughs> but do you have any problems with your lungs or your hands, because uh, or your arms or your communication skills or how you think? Because that's what you would have is your challenge, your life lesson, and shit. Because your Saturn's in Gemini. And I just told this to somebody else earlier. So what do you think about that? Uh, yeah. uh, shoulder, uh, problem. shoulder problems, you say? <clears throat> yeah. Shoulder. Your shoulder, that's what the Gemini's rule, shoulder, and your Saturn's in Gemini. And, okay. Okay, you're, you're, that's what I, that someone else had a problem with their lungs, and that was part of Gemini. And this Saturn truth is something that you'll have a problem with your whole life, and every Saturn return will come over whatever, 30 years. Like, did it happen when you were like 28, 29, 30, or 31? Okay, well, um, Uranus is in Libra. So how's your weird jubilee balance? Your Neptune is in Sagittarius. That's great. Your Pluto is in Libra. You got good taste. Uh, your Lilith is in Sagittarius. You're going to be proud of the same thing that that other girl was proud of. You know what I'm saying? That Larry's girl that was sitting right here. She looks so cutie. <laughs> She's so beautiful. Okay, here we go. Wait, hold that up. Uh, lost track of the... Okay, light. Is it lit up? There we go. Leave it to me. Oh, thanks for bringing it back up. Okay. And your North Node is Capricorn. Your life purpose is to, yes, you are going to be great a warrior at that in a Capricorn way. Like, whatever, you know, like, those Capricorns, your, your life purpose. Okay. Hi, what's up? I love you. Hi, guys. Smile at me. Yeah, this is like such a better stream. I think I gotcha. Are we cool? Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. You're gonna get me hyped up. What? <laughs> I'm not like all dumb. Okay, well, that was the radio, so it's free for everybody for the spirit. So I'm not copyrighting Jay. Okay, please, because I don't know who that is. So, whatever. That's one of the problems about YouTube. It's like, well, I'm fucking just making noise, man. It's like, and this is the particular piece that I need for my art. Thank you. Please. Yeah, it's like a PM world. Oh, what a magician. It works. Okay. I was going to to go all the way down here. This is a beautiful neighborhood. Frank, what's going through my mind? Well, a lot of things existed today for me. And 
I didn't get tired of there on camera, but it was all right. It's all right. I want it all on camera. So I'm a Piscean, and I got all on camera with myself. But so I'm going to read the words. <laughs> to be the tell, teller of the tell the story. Just like every Gemini, um, every Mercury, you know, placement. Even Virgo. I mean, for sure. You know, where is it all going to filter from? Oh my gosh, I didn't even mean that, but like, whoa, like a roller scope. Yeah, I hate that side of the road. Sorry, man. I wish you had gone first. We'll go around me, but I don't want my chicken. Winter is falling on all winter. Okay, well, that's enough of that for right now. Just cause all I gotta do with what I gotta do and spirit. Well, I was motivating. Everywhere you walk, I sense of spirit. I love tune on the lips. I tune on my skin on the lips. I used to steal a king. Play with it. I was never just have it. Do my writing, you know? Kill. Cause carry cancer. Carrying cancer. That's bad, man. My first reaction is come nourish you and mother you and be a real mom. And then I'm on top of that, I'm a Gemini rising. It's on the cusp of cancer, cancer, you see. Yeah, you look so my possession. I'm just kidding. I'm because I have cancer. Second house, too. These are two different tells of different personalities. I can't really tend to. In your moon sign machine, too, is the inner being, the emotions. You see them say it rose. It's so beautiful. I love emotion. Like, that's deeply emotional for me. I'm so glad. Thank you so much for making me feel those petals. <laughs> Water, man. Everything I really choose is so fun to me to be looking at. Yeah. Beautiful water. Thanks for me Well, I'm like a, some kind of big hot shot astrologer now. I'm just kidding. I feel like it because the friends that I've made. Anything, whatever. But you know, camera wise, dude, I'm all fine. I'm flying above everything. I mean, I'm sure we all are having this experience once you're on the on the go, waking up, you know, you wake up others and you feel you feel so great about yourself because you told somebody about their inner self and you know how they can identify with it and that's relational. That's how it feels. Like, can you identify with my information that I mirrored you with? Because that's what a psychic kind of does, too. Anyways, I am psychic, duh. And, um, like, the psychic part of me is me. And I like me. And it's all, like, so beautiful. Like, I mean, well, Bison is all romantic. Me and Tunes. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Well, I don't like driving. <laughs> People get too close. I'm like, what? But I feel good. But that light is so bright. That's so. I don't want to change it. Who gave me this CD? Oh, somebody gave me this CD, so I'm not going to write it. I bought this. So, my friends, the cancer finally bought this. They like this for me of his own toy. Oh, that's cool. But I have my own, but you. We want more than who we are, and we are more than who we are. We have more than what Earth. What does he say? I can interpret it wrong all I want. I'm feeling like I'm a magical being, like from another planet, and I would love to spend more time with myself. I don't want to take myself home. So I should park somewhere close. I want to go for the walk because I want to say my gas. I'm not saying my gas is going on the street. Oh, she's going to behind me. I'm going to walk. If the spirit tells me to run with my car, I will run with my car. This, this is what grabs me. This song is going to grab me. To get me fucking outside to do something. To me, it will point to my, my arrow. And then it might wake somebody else up. Like, unknowingly. Like, to fucking live. Like, it's so hard. 
Bless you, child. Thank you. I am so in love with you all. Okay, well, accomplishing that, how can you share the way for other things like love is guiding us to, for real? Like, when does it ever give you that big thrill? Bam. That's not something I'm worth sacrificing. You know, I decided I'm going to turn around all that for nothing. I feel so good going back home. This is my big decision. Make you feel maybe turn around and shit. But, you know, I guess my car's gonna point me home. I love home so much. I love the computer so much. That's why I've gotta be able to use the camera. Take me home. We got Virgo. Wow, my poor dog. Oh my god, there's some people right there. Oh my god, they have to stay fucking here. Don't me. Oh my god, what? I'm so camera. <laughs> I hear something going. That's probably the person that the spirit wanted me to land on and say, oh, I would love that. I would love to participate in that. I will guarantee myself to participate because Aries want to be a part of everything. Like Lilith and Aries. What a joy to talk about Aries. And it's so cool because I can be proud of that. I know so much about Aries. It's very great. It's being Venus and Aries, Mars and Aries. So, right. That's wonderful. The guiding light. Venus. It's so emotional. <laughs> um, who you are out loud. Okay, well, let's do that. <laughs> let's do that too. <laughs> Harmony. That was so beautiful. I love that story that I told my friends. Their story, you know, like how it would go and how it is, you know, it's so sweet. I don't know. I think I'm cool. If I just learn sign language, then everyone know I'm honestly fucking the best at heart. I mean, I'm going to learn my sign language or get friends to help me learn sign, uh, sign language or mimic a sign language person or something. Show you sign language. My friends should be involved. They should be in the atmosphere. They should be announced. That is the, this is their calling. One of their friends, everyone has a calling for you. You are called. It's just like calling your friends. You are called to do this. You are called to do that. But what had happened was, it was all right. The mind did it for you. The spirit is there for you. The spirit will tell each other how we can encourage us more and more to get inside the energy. Yeah. Well, I love going on this show. This is amazing. Who am I talking to? I don't know. Like, the whole world? Like, where? Is this the whole world in my hand? That would be so sweet, Jesus. Well, you know what, Jesus? You can totally be on my show. My God. Well, I told you stories about you. Do you want me to talk to you? Of course, everyone does. But I'll just keep that in a note in my own head. I don't know, it'll be rad. Because, uh, has he showed up all day? I don't know, but I think I have a relationship still with him. You know, I still with him. I still do have a relationship with Jesus. Like, the one where you feel out him there and see him there. And it's more than just your imagination. But I love the imagination of what's creeped up there, too. You know, like something else. But, I'm real, too. I'm chill. I really am. That was so much fun. I should be around groups of people. This is what I need to. I'm called here for I'm a reason. I'm a really, real good place to express myself. That which should be told. It's because heart, you're no, nothing supposed to hurt anything. It's supposed to be hilarious. <laughs> it's pretty funny. I'm in love. With the creatures that um, God was asking me to use. Oh, I can do that. I can do anything I want to do. I can be anyone I want to be. You can be anyone you want to be. I am what I want to be. I've been what I want to be. More me. More me. More me. Oh my God. More you, God. Love you. That was so precious. What a life. Oh, shit. You share inside of yourselves with each other. That is the spirit that should reach out and be like, Whoa, I'm retarded and I'm like, Whoa, I'm on the drift. Oh my God. 
rags and riches, bitches. Okay, okay. Like, you could, like, start seeing through somebody else that could be, like, a big freaking monster or, or another different kind of creature inside. You know what I mean? An inside creature. Wow. The outside creatures of yourself, what it could it be? Hmm. Well, I guess I'll see you on the other side inside of my own head because you're there and I'm in your head right now. So I'm part of your dis not your disagreement. I'm agreement and agreement. I don't know. I'm part of it all, right? I'm a part of you, God. I like to say what I say because it's funny and no trouble. There's no. What? He's sour powdered. So it's good with you. Okay, that's enough. Okay, are you with us, Pisces? I want to do your birth chart and just say a few things just to lead you on your way. Do you have the internet? You do? Well, you should look up some really cool astrologers after I'm done with this. And so they can... Okay. okay, whatever. Well, your moon sign is Aries, so you're really, really fast and quick and the inside, and you're just a Pisces. Um, okay, well, your Mercury's an Aquarius, so you talk logically, you think outside the box, and you see the, you know, you just explain things, of course, like, oh my god, you're Gemini rising like me, I'm Gemini Gus Cancer rising, wow, your midheaven is Aquarius, so that's the difference between me and you, my midheaven is Pisces, and let's see if you have any planets in the midheaven, okay, okay, your moon sign is Aries, that's how your mother treated you, isn't that funny, so, and she's probably, like, quick with you, or made you into athletics, were you an athletic baby, or something, like, hard work, war, was your mom a bitch, <laughs> Or blunt, loud, yeah. Oh, your fourth, wait a second. Was she your also biggest fan? Because you're fourth house of Leo. And you're the star of the family. But still, you're your own leader on the inside, you feel like. Because you feel like an Aries. Your moon sign's your inner being. Your rising sign, you have 12 houses in your chart, okay? Your first house, you know, they all rule by... Ugh, all the signs rule the houses, right? 1 through 12. Aries to Pisces. And whatever your rising sign is, is your persona, your self-image, is how you react to other people and it's how other people react to you. Yours is Gemini, so you're the bridge of communication. And you would talk a whole lot, right? Or what? And you, you, it's really fun. I'm a Gemini. You have multi-personalities. Do what? I'm really recording you. Your Venus is in Capricorn, so you means you tough, serious relationships. You're looking for the climbing the ladder with everyone if that's you and you should put people in your midheaven which is an Aquarius which is the star of the show because you're the fourth house Leo and you're the best person to fit with any character that anyone ever could want and that girl about you you could be the best um really you think so your Mars is in Capricorn too that's how your sexual attraction is your sun sign is in the midheaven your Mercury is in the midheaven you communicate from your Midheaven, your Jupiter's in Midheaven, you're going to be lucky, and you're in your Midheaven, you're going to be lucky with your Midheaven. Your Jupiter is in Cancer, so you'd be really lucky at being a mothering, nourishing person, and having kids, being around kids, and feeling intimacy with people, and being a gypsy, you'll be lucky with that, like, hitchhiking people will pick you up. Probably. And then, do you think so? <laughs> be a gypsy? Yeah, your your Venus is a Capricorn, so you're really... They could do all that stuff. They like to um, be good at... Are you good at school? Let's go to school. Were you good at school? Did you go to school? A lot. Yeah, I went to school. Oh, yeah? I wasn't great at it. I mean... What? I graduated. I graduated in 2011. Your moon is in Aries, and it's in the 11th house Pisces. Wow, it's some of your friendships. You, you, are you are you an emotional person? Underneath all that mask? Yeah, I think, so. I think so. I think so, too. Do you bring people into a deep place? Like, in the 8th house is Capricorn? Wow. Your Venus and Mars 
and your Saturn and your Uranus and your Neptune, whoa, are all in your eighth house of death, sex, transformation. So every, and it, it, you turn to Capricorn. You don't like borrowing things from people and people don't like borrowing things from you, right? It's true or false? That's true. And um, neither do I. That's what an eighth house Capricorn is. Means you'll live a long life. You might not be happy, but you're gonna live a long last life, okay? And you'll become more childlike when you get older and stuff. You know, you always just go back to being a child or whatever. I don't know. Like the older you are when you're young, the in the the, the uh, whatever they live backwards lives. You know, your ninth house is Capricorn too. That's your philosophy and your view of God. So yeah. It's your seventh house is Sagittarius. That's your relational house. You might not see people um, like that. I don't know. So, okay, your Saturn's in Capricorn. Wow. The way you'll be remembered. It's always challenged. Oh, whatever. Relationships. Wow. I'm just reading your chart and just seeing what the hell is. Your Pluto's in Scorpio, at least. Your Lilith is in Scorpio, too. You'll be proud of your occult places that you bring your relationships in. Yep, because that's where you bring your relationships in danger. <laughs> and weirdness and Neptune, Piscean, spiritual energies. Wow, you're responsible for life and death and transformation and sex. I mean, those are like just sex, drugs, and rock and roll kind of sounding uh, gimmick, but that's what your life is all about. Is that true or false or what? I mean, that's life in general, but you must be psychic in relationships too. Do you do any psychic work yourself? I mean, you must be a beautiful soul. You're a beautiful soul. Well, Maybe you're really out of it, too, when those uh, uh, dangerous things start to happen. Because <laughs> your Neptune's there. But, like, do you make movies? Do you want to make movies or what? Because Piscean like to make movies and stuff. Oh, really? You're not activated in that? I wonder what... Anything. You can mimic anybody's energy because you're a Pisces. You got it. You see what I'm saying? But is that how you feel? Your sixth house is Scorpio, and you're proud of your everyday life, daily activities, because of your Lilith being in your daily activities, but you still have to rebel. You're rebelling in your daily struggles with everything. Wow. And it's always to deal with sex, transformation, Scorpion energies. Wow. My six, my Saturn's in the Scorpio, in the sixth house, Scorpio. We both have six house Scorpio. Wow. But you don't understand that I'm trying to get you to understand that. If you don't, you should look it up and be interested in astrology. Mm -hmm. You're not. Mm -hmm. Your Jupiter is in your self image. You're going to be lucky with communication. You'll be lucky with caring for people, like being a mother. Do you feel like a mother or father to people? It says that you have to be your own mother. That's how you have to heal yourself. You have to be Cancerian-like. And you'll be lucky at that, taking care of yourself as a gypsy cancer. <laughs> and being a healer to yourself. And then, when you heal other people, it's with communication. Your thoughts, your words. You know, your multidimensional duality of you as how you heal people. It's just talking to them. Communicating them. Because you can be a really good communicator. It heals them. Did you know that? And giving them information by being... Okay. Well, your plaza, plaza is Aries, so that's kind of like how you decorate your house, is what I see it as. Like, palace. <laughs> it sounds like it. <laughs> Plus, yeah. it, it just seems like it. I don't know. And yours is an Aries, so you'll be, like, decorating with simple things. <laughs> how you are. Do what? Really? Uh, 
Your, Ju- your Junos and Scorpios, so you're going to attract your soulmate or whoever the fuck you decide to pick up off the side of the road or <laughs> wherever, the side of the ear, the side of the typing, wherever. Uh, you'll meet them in, like, even funeral homes. Have you ever met anybody there, one of your lovers that you wish you married to, if you even feel like marriage? But it's, like, someone you could live day-to-day basis with each other. And you're Scorpio as well as that, in that, in that relationship. Wow, but you're... Venus is the relationship, how you act, and you act like Capricorn. You're all put together. Whatever. You have Mercury and Aquarius, so you like to be utilized. And you're a future thinker. You have future energies that you bring into this world. And you are a communicator, so wow, cool. Let's see if you're psychic. Do you think you're psychic? Your 12th house of Taurus. Do you think you're psychic? Your life purpose is to live an Aquarius life, the all-knowing, to gain knowledge from the social media, from friendships, to gain friends, and to be in the view of God because your North Nod is in the ninth house. You belong in church. <laughs> You belong, you belong in communities like that view of God. You belong to learn about God and all the all knowing, to be all knowing. And that doesn't mean that's all what you're going to focus on your whole life, which you should be, whatever. The view of God and Uranus is the upper world ruler to always be good, you know, and in an Aquarius way, but rebellious in your own unique way. To be weird, you know, to be yourself is your life purpose. Every time you gain that knowledge and to lose, you know, be a little bit looser than a Capricorn is, even though you're meant to be sharing that ninth house Capricorn in your career is Aquarius. We got a lot of Capricorn and Aquarius in your chart. My goodness. That means you're you're very struggling. Do you have any bone problems or not? Or you just have really good problems? I think that you're, you you have beautiful bones because your Venus is in Capricorn. Do you have fine bones? Have you ever had a broken bone or anything? What if you've broken? You have a lot of Capricorn in your chart. Holy cow. Ow, that hurts. Oh my god. So you're like Adam and Eve. <laughs> Your Lilith is in Scorpio. Wow. This is totally horrific. Okay, okay. That was 11 minutes of me trying to read your chart. And I read about yeah, that. So, so anything else I'm missing? I will talk to you about it more, but my computer's messing up. In the 11th house, you act like a Pisces, so you act like yourself, so what's how you make friends, the animals, people, whatever. Let's see what your relationship with animals is. That's the 6th house. I've watched that. The 6th house, you kick its ass. You kick its ass. You're on time. You do everything correct. You're a Scorpio, though. You do it on your own time. And you'll show that in your career. <laughs> is that true? And you're a star, because your fourth house is Leo. You go back to home there. That's your comfort zone. And so is Aries. You live a long, fast life. In the moment of people's emotions. Your emotions are in the moment. They create moments for people to live, live in. That's Aries. That's all I know is, like, Aries has... Survival instincts. They're like cavemen. Do you feel like a caveman? You do? I think everyone does. Whatever. Well, you're lying. Everyone's going to rob you around you around your house. You're going to be the shining star. Your mom and dad. Your mom probably tra- treated you like you were her biggest fan. As, and... She wanted to put you in athletics or something. And your dad really structured you to be like... How'd your dad treat you? How, how is this going? Am I doing anything? Well, to be honest, my dad, I, 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 
Your dad died? Uh, yeah, he shot himself. Oh, wow. So your dad taught you how to grow up, right? Real fast. That's what it seems. Yeah, more fast than other people. Why is that? And then your mom raced you around, right? <laughs> or she was seeming like race, race fast. Do you think your mom was really fast or you're really fast? Um, you think you're faster? <laughs> Competitive. Okay. Well, that was a nice interview with you about your tar, kind of. I'm just taking too many minutes of my computer to upload. So I might just say goodbye. Do you want to say goodbye? Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna say goodbye to you though, just the computer. Um, oh. Okay. I enjoyed that. That was so amazing. I'll talk about your chart more often after this. Toodles.